Well, hey everybody, welcome back. I am not dead, as you can see uh, by this video. It has been a while though, and that's basically because I kind of got uh, burnt out, sort of, and uh, basically just took a break for like three months on the airplane and haven't really put up any videos, which I do hate, but that is kind of how it goes sometimes. Um, as you can see, or maybe you can't because some of the work has been pretty small, especially on the engine, but pro uh, some progress has been made quite a bit actually since I last posted a video. Um, so I have a backlog of videos to edit and put up. And what I'm about to do is actually get started back working on the wing. Um, Dad has actually been doing a great job of keeping the wing progress going. Um, and so now I'm gonna jump on that and really start to uh, get things cooking. But you're not gonna see any of that until I get all of the other videos edited and uploaded, uh, just cause I, I really wanna try and keep the whole video stream chronological and also just for my own sanity and to keep things from getting confusing and uh, kind of having a, having a even longer backlog of videos and stuff. So. The video you are about to watch is from a while ago, uh, possibly three or so months ago. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoy it and hope you get something out of it. If you do, leave me a comment and uh, let me know. Thanks for watching everybody and I promise there are going to be more videos in 2020 because this plane is going to be finished in 2020 or so help me. So stick around, uh, hit that subscribe button if you're new here to the channel. Um, if you are new here to the channel, this is a Zenith 750 Cruiser that my dad and I are building. And eventually it's going to look like that or something like that, except with an even more awesome paint job. And it's gonna be me and my dad in there instead of Roger. So it's gonna be pretty sweet. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of hard work. It has already been, and it's gonna be even more to get there, but it's gonna be worth it. So if you wanna tag along for the journey, hit that subscribe button, and uh, whoo, all right, I will see you on the next one. Disclaimer, just because we do it, doesn't mean you should. Okay, now I'm going to attach the battery to the firewall, or actually I'm just going to drill out the holes for the brackets because I need to do that because um, I want to have access to that to drill the holes before I put the, uh, the plates here that are gonna hold the ignition coils and stuff. So, we got our battery here. This is an EarthX lithium battery, which I think is pretty amazing. I haven't actually like used it, but from what I've seen about them they're pretty awesome this is a 13.2 volt battery this this uh, specific one is the etx 680c and by the way the difference between the c and the, the like the 680 and the 680c is the 680 uh is just it stands for compact um because they're actually they're actually the exact same batteries but they do make them with a bigger case if you want it to fit an older style battery, like a lead acid battery size uh, battery box. Speaking of the battery box, here's our battery, well, bracket, and this is what we're going to attach this with. It's a lovely fit. We have four holes here. Uh, I think the, these, are, these should be for quarter inch, but they are a little bit small. They don't quite, I uh, can't quite get the bolts through, so I'm gonna have to drill those out. But basically, just to show you what we're going to do here, we are going to <clears throat> attach this. I I went ahead and just got the measurements from the um, Zenith uh, assembly guide thing, just to, kind of as a reference. So we have 270 millimeters uh, up from the bottom of the firewall, and then 220 millimeters, roughly, from the center of the firewall. Uh, and then, so this battery is going to go somewhere right about there. Um, and this is, and since this one is a lot smaller, I really like that there's a lot more room to work with right up here um, because 
that's going to be nice. Um, but it's still, you know, fairly out of the way. I could even bring it up a little bit more if I wanted to. But I still want to be able to, you know, access the terminals and stuff. Uh, that would be good. So basically, I just got to put this thing up here and then uh, mark out four holes. So I guess we just do that right now. And then drill them out and... Okay, we'll size up to an A4, and we'll just do it from this side. Let's put those over there. Let's see if that fits. Yeah, see a quarter inch doesn't actually fit this um, box. It's very close. I wonder if they drilled it for a metric bolt size. That could be the case. Well, I ain't gonna get no metric bolts. Okay, let's take this thing and let's just drill out this cover just before we before we get any farther here. Okay, now I'm going to temporarily secure this, uh, the uh, secure the battery box on here, so that I can line up all the other holes, match them all up.
Okay, cool. Let's make sure that everything fits properly. Slide our battery in here. Cool. That should, that'll hold it just fine. All right. Okay, well, there we go. We got the uh, battery box installed for the EarthX battery. And that's going to do it. I think what I want to move on to next are attaching the, the plates here for the ignition coils. So then I'll be able to start uh, making my ignition leads and getting all the lengths right. Okay, so I'm actually gonna take the uh, take the battery out of here for now because I don't need it in here and uh, I don't really want to uh, don't want to get it all dusty and uh, get a bunch of metal shavings on it and stuff. So I'm just gonna leave it out for now. The other nice thing about this is like it makes it seems like it'd be really hard to get a, a big full-size battery in here you know later because eventually we're gonna have a cowling on here so you'd have to get it down in there and try and get it yeah that'd be a pain I guess that's why there's that bracket though because then you just take the whole thing off but whatever okay cool I'll just go ahead and leave these in place though for reference Boom, just like that. Sweet. Well, that's good because now, now, now I know where the battery's going to go. Excellent. <laughs>